All right, this example, we have factored form for the quadratic. So it's y equals x plus 2 times x minus 6. That is our red parabola here. And we're going to reflect it over the x-axis. This one's interesting because the parabola is both above and below the x-axis. So let's take a look and see what happens here. So let's start with the vertex, 2, negative 16. Again, notice the scaling on the graph here. We're scaled by 2s. So 2, negative 16. Uh, that's 16 below the x-axis, so I'm going to go 16 above the x-axis. There's my point. So on the, on the purple parabola here, that's going to be the reflected parabola. You see that point. Then I have the point here. It looks like it's 4, negative 12. Well, that's 12 below the x-axis, so I'm going to go 12 above the x-axis. Same thing here. It looks like 0, negative 12 is my y-intercept, so I'm going to go 12 above. There we are. So we have those two points now on the purple parabola that's being reflected over the x-axis. All right. So now I have the two pink points there. The zeros, they're the same because, again, the zeros are on the x-axis, so there's nowhere to go when they reflect. They just kind of bounce there on their own and stay on the x-axis. All right. Now we have these two green points. So the green point is above the x-axis, right? So this point here is like 3, 9, or negative 3, or actually this would be negative, yeah, negative 3, 9. So it's 9 above, so I want to go 9 below, so it would be like right around there, okay? That'd be right here on this parabola. And then my point here is let's 7, 9, so again, 9 above the x-axis, so now we're going to go 9 below the x-axis. So that would be the point right there. So you can see, so when the points were below the x-axis, they reflect above the x-axis. When the points are above the x-axis, they reflect below the x-axis. And when the points are on the x-axis, they stay there when we reflect. There's nowhere to go. All right.